<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Cotton here. And today I'm just going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to get my mod, get it working, and how to use it to the fullest advantage for you. So, of course, we're going to start out by subscribing to my channel. And if you guys actually checked out my latest video, the uh, late night Q&A round 2, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment with your character name and race. And on the 2nd of May, I will declare a winner, or possibly a couple of winners. I'm not giving out the particular prizes, they're going to be surprises. Surprise surprises. Surprise prizes, I suppose. I've already got the link. It's in, it's in the description of every video. It's not hard to get to. And we're just going to go ahead and download this mod. And I have updated it. There's no visual changes, really. I'm still working on the textures. So give me a little time. I am working on it. It's, it's a very tedious process to get them to look the way that I want them to. It's already installed. Oh, we got to wait and download which is of course going to take a while because it it just it always takes a while but as you can see on the screen you can already see the nice blue button and the dragon boy logo now has a modded by cotton under under it and that's not super visible on the the uh the high graphics main menu screen but if you go to the low graphics main menu screen which i'm going to show you how to do that it's just the bottom it's a, just an option you can do it on any phone with my mod you can do this i prefer to use the low graphics because it's it just doesn't use as much bandwidth if you're using your mobile data i would recommend you switch to low graphic mode but we're just gonna wait here for a minute and let this download and once that's done i'll get back to you guys all right, we are back. And as I was saying, this option right here, we're just going to go ahead and click that, and we're going to go to low graphics. That's going to make us restart. Going to go ahead and open up Dragon Ball and Cotton Edition. Yeah, it's a sexy start screen, I think. You might disagree, but I think it looks good. Got to put in some uh, sensitive information. All right, nice. So we're locking in here, and you're going to notice from the stock game, of course, there's a lot missing in the background. Now, personally, go into the function menu and go to option, and I turn on analog, and I turn sound off. That's my personal preference. You can leave sound on. You don't have to use analog. I think it makes it way easier to play this game. But that's my personal opinion. So now that I got my nice little toggle switch, you'll notice I'm kind of slow. Kind of sluggish. So the, e the easiest way to fix that is we're going to set our speed. I'm just going to open up the menu, and I'm going to hit S, uh, let's go with S8. As you can see, it gives you a little dialog box. Not everyone sees that, just you see that. They will see you say S8, but they won't see, you know, speed hack 8, like you do. And I'm sure you've already noticed the texture differences. It looks, I, I think Vegeta looks pretty good in black and red. Let, let me know what you think. And some of these other disguises, let me know what you think they should be changed to. I mean, I got a lot of lot of things to change, a lot of things I want to change. But that doesn't mean I don't like ideas. Now, then we're going to continue. One of the most crucial things to use with this mod is the CD menu. So we're going to go ahead and type in CD, and we're going to open that up. Now, there's a few options here. There's deactivate announcements, which is pretty obvious. Uh, attack boss, which will use this one right here. Hawk King Kong. You know. And as long as that's active, it should attack them. I'm not 100% sure how to activate that one, or if it's just automatically active when you have TS working. I usually just hit AK to set my attack to just... It, it's kind of like an auto-aim. I'll show you guys that here in a minute. Now we also have a bean timer, which is just great for training kids disciples. I usually set it, if if they're kind of dying often or if they're running out of key, I'll set it somewhere between like 120 or maybe 240. If they're not running out of key and they're not dying very often and you only need to use beans for vitality, I usually do 300 to 360. Now if you only need to use beans for you, I would probably put that at a, put the use bean by HP and key amount. And I'd probably set these to uh, probably about half. 
as you can see here, I've made it actually say I recommend half of your maximum HP. And we also have auto chat. There's an all-out brawl going on right here. But anyways, yeah, that's that's that. It's pretty easy. We're gonna go ahead and okay, I've already got that off. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys real quick. Select this guy, and as you'll see, I just start smacking him. And I'm not I'm not actually hitting him, but I'm hitting him. It's fucking crazy, right? <laughs> anyways, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just screwing around right now. I I don't even mess with this very much. I'll do a TD60 when I want to go a little bit faster. Uh, I'll do a C to remove my cooldown. Um, but I I usually do that on punches because it really just doesn't work for that. It, it kind of works for Rescore, but it really doesn't. It it really doesn't work for Monkey. It's just, it it's not. It's really just for punches. If you're on Namekian, uh, it's amazing for new combo. Probably the best thing to use for new combo that there is. To be perfectly honest. And I'm just gonna go monkey and hit somebody a few times. So I feel like it. Am I not wearing my damage gear? Oh, I don't have rage on. Let's see if I can find who's hitting me. Why are you hitting me, boy? Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> Those are most of the ones that I will use. We'll go ahead and activate our auto chat. Just because. <laughs> Just because. Oh, I bet they are not happy about that. I think this is just hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm kind of being a dick. I think it's funny. I, I, I enjoy that. I bet they don't even know what to think right now. Especially Fluffy. He went and got his fucking health gear on just so I wouldn't one punch him. But I'm sorry I use buffs, but if I'm gonna use buffs, I might as well buff out. Right? Might as well go all the way. And I'm sorry, Fluffy. I'm sorry I'm being a dick to you right now. But you're the subject of abuse for this video. Whoop whoop. You too. I apologize. But I, j I have to kill you. There's just no way around it. Quay quay. Quay tay. Zix quack tickx. Takes? Zix takes? I don't know. I know that's not what he was actually going for, but whatever, man. Another great useful tool, and I'm sorry this video is taking longer than I expected it to, is the K. We can go K7, and that will change us zones. Of course, my AK is making us lag. Let's see, what are some of the other ones? Let's go ahead and turn AK off. Another thing we can do is Anhat, which will turn off auto pickup. If you're going to Namek and you do not want to pick up the Namekian Dragon Balls, that's how you're not going to pick them up. As you can see right here, this little pile of gold is just sitting there, because I don't have an Attract Charm and I don't have my Auto Pickup on. I'm going to go ahead and enable it. Hit TS, and that's going to just enable, basically it's Massacre. Uh, with AK, it, it'll really end up creating some lag. As you can see, there's that was like, what, two or three punches after death. And as you can see, I hit him like six, seven, eight times before I actually connect. And we can just turn off TS just by hitting TS again. And we can do the same thing for that auto chat, which is ATC. Very useful tools. I have a lot of fun with them. My personal favorite is probably just the bean timer because of the the sheer ease of training a kid when you don't have to actually sit there and stare at it and give him beans constantly. Uh, Mikoa is a good one, which will open up the interface right here. As you can see, I've got these little red dots all over the place. And I, they, it's just up, down, left, right. You know, pretty easy. I can go down to here. And you might be wondering what that number in the middle is. That's your current speed setting. Real easy to use. This button on the right, I'm gonna show you what that one does. All right, we're gonna target one of these guys. Check it out, boom, teleport, boom, teleport, 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 teleport. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But yeah, that's basically all I had to tell you guys about today. So I hope you enjoy this video. Always give me some uh, comments, man. Let me know what you'd like to see, and don't forget to enter my giveaway and subscribe to the channel. All right, you guys have a good night or morning, or afternoon, or whatever time of day it happens to be. Till next time. See you later. <laughs>